It's Sunday, March 10th, 10.30 a.m. We are at the Myrtle Beach Water Treatment Plant doing a plant tour with several municipalities from South Carolina. Buford, Jasper, Chester. Um, this is the first group that we have coming through. We have another group at two o'clock. And again, all operators and municipalities from around the state of South Carolina looking at putting in plate settlers into their basins to improve their settling. Standing at basin one, there are five total basins. Each basin is broken up into thirds. You can see the center wall, but this is all still one basin hydraulically. The plate settlers were installed to increase the plant capacity to 60 million gallons a day from 45. Previously they had tube settlers in here. Tube settlers have been installed for about uh, probably 15 years or so. And here you can see the stain on the wall shows you the distance that the tube settlers covered. So we're about half of that with plate settlers and we're increasing capacity by 15 million gallons a day. They did utilize an effluent collection flume so all of the stainless steel troughs coming out of the plate settlers dump into a stainless steel collection flume. The reason they did that is so they didn't have to core any additional holes in the concrete wall that you're seeing here. So you can see they just cut off the FRP troughs. They removed a beam across the basin they had a structural engineer look at that. The beams were not required, so they requested to remove those so they would have better access for cleaning the plate settlers. Just talked to one of the A operators and also the maintenance guy. Biggest thing they see with the tube settlers is they were having a lot of trouble cleaning them. Just because at 15 years old, they were getting very brittle. And you can see the pile of tube settlers in the basin there, when they would wash them, they would end up breaking up pretty badly. So they're really looking forward to being able to clean their basins uh, much faster than they have. So again, these basins are the next ones that are gonna be getting plate settlers. They're still operating about 13 to 15 million gallons a day. Even with these two basins down, it's just a low demand season, but the summer's coming. And obviously with Myrtle Beach, they're gonna have a big demand for water at the plant. So they'll have all the plate settlers online and ready for the... Uh... I walked down to basin number five, which is the last basin in line here. And just wanted to take a look at the flock particles and also how the tube settlers are operating. So this space and the tube settlers have been operating for about a month without cleaning. You can see there's a fair amount of buildup on top of the tube settlers. One of the biggest difference between plate settlers and tube settlers is plate settlers, uh, new plate settlers nowadays have a flow control device. That device is typically a patented device that allows or forces the same amount of water to travel up through all of the plates when it's operating. Tube settlers do not have that, so basically the water will take the path of least resistance. And you see here, you have some areas where they have a little bit more flow, some where there's a little bit less. So again, this tube settlers can be susceptible to hydraulic flow differentials throughout the uh, surface area.